Healthcare in Canada is a complex business. If you don't believe me, just ask Dr. Jim O'Brien. He is a plastic surgeon who also works as a special advisor on medical research at Regional Health Authority B in New Brunswick. In an earlier life, Jim would have been a VP at a single hospital, but because of the regionalization that's now the norm across Canada, he's involved with over a dozen separate hospitals and facilities at the Regional Health Authority B. He brings an interesting perspective to the EXTRA program because his goal is to make physicians more active players in the evolution of the healthcare system, and particularly in the way healthcare is delivered. Welcome, Dr. O'Brien. Thank you. I guess if I could sum up your goal in the EXTRA program, Jim, it's to improve communication between physicians who practice in your regional health authority and the people they work with. How did this come about? Did you see signs in your day-to-day -day work that improved communication could improve care? Uh, yes, I did, Pat. The um clinical work in the operating room and my experience both as head of surgery and eventually as chief of staff uh, led to the observation that we had a um, significant disconnect between the department heads on the medical profession side and the administrators on the other side. Now this was not um, willful on anyone's part, it was just two different uh, work natures uh, the administration people being in their offices and the professional surgeons being mostly fee-for-service. And some of the other departments that we had who were non-surgeons were a combination of both fee-for-service private practice people and salaried. And getting all those people to work in effective programs uh, was becoming more and more of a problem as the years went by. You told me earlier that you hope to use the extra program to help improve physician engagement in your health authority. Is that a hard sell to physicians who are already quite busy doing their clinical work? Do you have a hard time getting physicians involved in the administrative side of healthcare? Well, it's a problem if you don't approach it and do the communication and the initial setup properly. And uh, as I've begun looking at this uh, from the point of view of the evidence in the literature, it's become very obvious that this is a problem not only in our region, uh, but in Canada, in the United States, and in Britain. And what is consistently being reported is that if you approach physicians from the perspectives of their patient practice, of outputs and safety and quality, then they are very much more likely to come to the table and work with the larger team. EXTRA itself, Jim, is designed to encourage the use of evidence-based methods in the administration of health care. But there's a lot more to it than that. It also wants to produce leaders of change within the healthcare system. So how does EXTRA fit with your own plans to be one of these leaders of change? Well, the EXTRA program has been um, very beneficial for me because it has taught me about the tools that are available both electronically, on the net, and nationally through a, the networking capabilities that are developed. And the uh, faculty from these sessions as well as the cohort that I'm going through the program with uh, will be beneficial for years to come, I believe. As you know, EXTRA is a two-year program. Its centerpieces are the intervention project and the six weeks of residency sessions you attend. You already have a full-time administrative job and you do clinical work as well. How hard is it to fit EXTRA into this? I believe everyone in the program would tell you that it's hard and that it's a challenge. Uh, but overall it is well worthwhile and as we reach each milestone in the program uh, the benefits um, uh, just declare themselves more and more. Jim, your goal through the EXTRA program is to improve communication among the physicians at Regional Health Authority B. If you're successful you will undoubtedly have a positive impact on the Health Authority itself. Now what about yourself? Do you see any positive benefits accruing to you personally because of your participation in EXTRA? Will it open some career doors for you? Well, it has certainly opened um, my ability to network at a national level. It has given me access to tools which I knew about uh, before the program, but I didn't really know how to uh, use, uh, particularly on the electronic side. And in terms of career opportunities, um, I believe they are always there, particularly in the uh, environment that we have in Canada today. 
Uh, that being said, I'm uh, quite happy to uh, develop those opportunities where I am. What's your advice to somebody who's considering applying to the EXTRA program? Is it worth the effort? I would say that it is worth the effort, but they should come into the program with a lot of advice, particularly with regard to the application process and the uh, type of intervention program that they wish to embark on. And I say this because it takes most of the first six months, and in my case even longer, to narrow the field of um, investigation to have a reasonable question and a re reasonable um, intervention attack on that particular question. Jim, thanks again for taking the time to talk with us today about the EXTRA project. I wish you the best of luck in completing it. Thank you.